Witch Bane. I remember when Dom first sent me this one a couple of weeks ago, and I was like, yeah, that one looks awesome. Um, let's play it, and then I just never did. So here we are. It's it's we got like 30 or 40 roguelike demos, you know what I mean? It's it's okay to want to play everything, but the the fact is it's there's just too many. Too many great games coming out every day. Uh, you'll never play them all. Whoa, but this one looked really cool. Once again, audio super loud. Super loud. Let me turn that down. Start demo wishlist. Let's go to settings first before we do any of that. How about that? Game manual. Whoa, there's an instruction booklet. Uh, no. No. Name has been known for centuries. Synonymous Switch Hunter. Okay, cool. Um, switch secondary. Use secondary. Sword slash. Jump dash run. That's that's all we need. Open the game. Choose from the options. How to play. You're in control. Jump dash slash crouch slash. Interacting with the world. Statues. I, I, we, don't, we don't need this. Get me out of here. Okay. It's cool, but... Mm, we don't need it. As long as life and death have been, there were those who would seek their power. The tales of demons and angels taught since childhood have ingrained into us, unto us, all a truth which must remain unspoken. Our town be overrun in a darkness of which none can see and none can say. Screams pierce the dark side of twilight and blood flows as water in the streets. I feared my imagination run riot with me, but I can no longer ignore these signs of bewitchment. Your lineage of witch hunters begs that I ask thee for assistance, for I fear that no other can. My sorrow for having to do so is deep, but alas, I am left with no other choice in the matter. I pen this plea in desperation and fear. Please come back to save these people that were once your own. Forgive them as no man, woman, or child deserves such a fate as, as we face. The very devil himself is here amongst us. Oh, and we as sheep cannot fend off the wolves alone. May this letter find you with the noblest of intention and an urgency most compelling. Nice. So this should be a roguelike, I, I, I guess is what I'm saying. I know it's very dark in here, but when the game actually turns on, my face should light up. Um, I want it to be dark because we're playing, might play some creepy games after this, might play some horror games. So let's keep it dark. Can, I, can we play the game yet? Can I press A? Skip? Well, it doesn't seem like there's going to be anything else coming, so I'm going to skip. And there we go. Look, a little bit of light, and I'm back. I'm back, baby. But yeah, we want to play some horror games. So this should be a roguelike, starting from the beginning each time. Jump. Um, I don't know what that was. Why is Y? Why is Y attack? Y to attack is probably the worst thing. I do like the design though. Okay, we are playing Castlevania essentially. Especially with that dash. That dash is a very Castlevania dash. Okay. And this. Found in chests, secondary weapons. Use right bumper by default. Switch them using left bumper by default. Can I change everything? Oh, I went to main menu. No, bro. No, I just want to go to the settings. Assign controls. You know what? That's fine. I'll assign the controls then. Um, restore defaults. Assign controller. Okay. Jump. A. Dash can be B. You know, dash is, dash is this. Replace. Uh... Now press a button or move an axis to assign it to a dash. I want to press right. All right. Right shoulder is already in use. Yes, replace. Right shoulder. Dash is right shoulder. And uh, shoe. I have a gun. What? What, what is shoe? Does shoe mean attack? Okay, shoe means attack. Yes, X. Run. So now we can do this we, and we can dash and attack at the same time. Jump. Um, 
I don't know what a run would need to be, but switch weapon, secondary shoot should be B. Reload? Can I not just reload on its own? God damn it. I'm just gonna reload with uh with like right stick button, whatever. And run, I guess. With left shoulder. Switch weapon. I mean, it would be great if I had another button, but I guess it's just going to be left stick button. That'll do. Done. Back to main menu. Let's go. Now I can play the game without, you know, playing like an insane person, I think is fair to say. Oh, that's so much better. There we go. Now I can actually play this game. Come on. Some, I, don't, I feel like some people don't get controls. A lot of demos I play have really weird controls. And I'm just like, the thing is, maybe you can try something new, but there are standards to controls that you need to kind of follow if you want your players to be, to know what's going on. So I can attack up when I'm standing, but not when I'm jumping. So, okay, well... Let's go this way, down here then. Uh, there was a ghost there a second ago. I don't know what to do. I guess I can get out though. Uh, I can't get out. And now I'm dead because ghosts are here. What the hell is going on? You, you can see me? You must be quite demented. Only the mad and dead can see the spirit realm. Sometimes I forget, I must wait, I must hold on. Okay. Great. Right, can I get out here? Are you actually hurting me? How can I climb up? Okay, you've got to jump climb up. I don't know what's going on, but I don't like it. And now I can I can climb up here as well, okay. I tried to do that before, but it wouldn't let me jump up, so that's also strange. Some awkwardness to this, for sure, but we're getting there now. Oh, I tell you what, that dash comes back every 15 minutes. Oh, it's going to take forever to get back up there. Can I not just jump on here? No. Can't jump on the ones in the foreground. You can jump on the, the steps in the background. Though. Make sense? Make sense? You getting all that? And now I get to wait for the dash to come back. And I get to miss and then fall down a hole, a perfectly placed hole. Wonderful. Guess we don't want to go down there again. It took us 25 minutes. I held up and to the right like Castlevania and it worked. Oh my god, again. Okay. I'm, uh, I guess this is fine. I don't know. It's, it's... That dash is, is annoying. Having to wait for the dash to move across gaps. I want to go across here because it sounds like, it seems like there's uh, cool, you know, it's going to be cool stuff or something. Yeah, it's a chest. Like, I want to come up here. I don't know what that was. But it wasn't another weapon. Can I fall down and not die? Almost killed me. That would have pissed me off. That's not like I can see below. Well, I can see a little bit below, but not much. Ignite checkpoints. They look cool. Is that something in the ground? Okay. I don't know what that is. I'm not going to go down there. I don't want to get attacked by ghosts again. Can I go into this mausoleum? I can. And I get a gun. There we go. Another one? No. This is very old school feeling. It's funny that it was in roguelike week when it's clearly not a roguelike. 
has like checkpoints and stuff. Oh, is it procedurally generated? I doubt it. A Castlevania game procedurally generated would be pretty cool, maybe. Could be. I guess it could also be garbage. It, it really depends on how that was put together. All right, we have some gloves. We have a gun. Wait a second. Can I not go back in? You said I can like do something with this. The witch's way is your nah. The witch's way. Yeah, cool poem. Cool poem, bro. Um, I'm stuck at the end here. Do I have to read this and get a puzzle or something? Turn alive, another's heart, you to pay, secret, let's do seek the witch's way. Oh no, it just didn't load. Okay, excellent. <laughs> I gotta love that. Good job I did that. I get a lot of chests. And, but not a lot of enemies to use the items that I get in chests on. Oh, that's a hanging guy. That's nice. His head ripped off because he's like a zombie. <laughs> okay. Can I do anything? Oh, he's going to get back up. Because he's a zombie, he's going to pick that hammer up. Oh my god, you've got a health bar. Didn't even notice. And you're dead. Sorry, groundskeeper Willy. That's a key. No. I'm sorry, family. Um, I'm, I got bitten by a zombie, and now I'm going to end my life. Uh, because I don't want to become evil and eat you all. That, that's what we're going to pretend it said, okay? This guy's going to throw rocks. Oh, he's not even going to throw them down the hill. He's not going to Donkey Kong them at me. He's just straight lobbing them at my face. All right. What the fuck? Are these not supposed to roll on the floor? Like, obviously. Isn't that like an obvious classic trope that you're supposed to be doing right now? Let's go back to this church. Mausoleum. Whatever. Hey, Skelly. What have you got for me? More gloves. I guess I should check out what these gloves do. We know this throws. We know this shoots. What does the blue glove do? Next time we see an enemy, it's blue glove time. There's not many enemies, out, is there really? It's, it's kind of... He's going to lob it so high, yeah. Oh, it freezes. Okay, so the other one burns, probably. You can't hurt them when they're freezing, so... This is excellent. It's kind of the worst item in the game. And then, this is glitchy as hell. Why can't I hit anybody? Okay. I hate how long it takes to refresh this, man. It's killing me. I have to use it for so much. Uh. Someone's throwing rocks at me from somewhere. It's not very pleasant. Oh, just whatever. Just get me to the end now. There's a lot. Jumping is awful. Jumping feels horrendous. You're so stiff and like it's a tiny little arc that you have. Yeah, I thought this one was going to be a bit more interesting. I mean, just from the look of it, um, I thought the art style was really cool. And I was like, a cool, like a 2D roguelike, kind of Castlevania-ish with, like, with this like design. I was like, that sounds awesome. Um... It's not. It's not as awesome as I thought it was going to be. The dash takes so long to come back, even though it's kind of necessary at times, I'd say. 
There are not many enemies. It's kind of... Em the world's kind of empty. More platforming challenge than anything else, which is the worst, you know, most annoying part of the game. I think I have to... dash here. And then wait for it for two minutes. And then dash again, and then wait for it. This, this sucks. Okay. There we go. Is he going to hit me with that? No. So this is exactly one dash away. I'm not playing Sims The Simpsons. I'm not like doing Bart's Climb the Castle Challenge. This this is awful. This is terrible. Oh, wait. We've got to run. I'm an idiot. Oh, my God. Change everything. Ch take all my, all my concerns back. I was like, the, the jump is the worst part of the game, but you know what? It's not. Because you can just do this. Forgot about the run because I remapped everything. But I only remapped everything because the buttons are, were in the worst place possible. I hate you. But this is this is exactly like the, the Simpsons game. With Bart climbing up the castle. You're just running along and then running along all the way back and one mess up and you just all the way back. This does require a dash actually, so. Can you be dead now? Thank you. Pain in the ass. Right. Oh dear. We have a checkpoint. Run! Okay, that's a cool looking thing. What the hell is it? Why does it always dash through even when I'm holding back? Sometimes it just dashes in the wrong direction. Okay, well that wasn't a very interesting boss fight. Let's uh Are you gonna have a second phase? Please. Yes. Yes. Are you an enemy? Oh. Game over. Okay. I don't know if it killed me on purpose because I got to the end of the demo or if it was just game over. So now I have to go back and do it all again quickly. We've only been playing for a short amount of time, so I'm just gonna run through. I'm not going to collect everything. I'm sure I'll make it through just fine. Like, we're not going in there. We'll go up here, because it's easy enough now that we've got the... Now that we've got the run, and I know what I'm doing. That was so stupid of me, it really was bad. At least I get to try the game again now, properly. Although, now that I'm running, now that I'm running, it's a lot easier even. <laughs> so now there's absolutely no challenge, because I was saying there's not many enemies. I don't know what's down there. We never went. I guess we should check it out. Ah, okay. Still, not, not too much. This guy loves getting haunted by ghosts at the bottom of, like, stairs or whatever. I don't get it. Whenever he's underground, it just goes super nonsense. Back changing direction. Let's go. So, yeah, it's now even simpler than it already was. There's not that many enemies. There's not that many, not so many enemies to fight. Sometimes your attack doesn't come out also. Like you saw there, I got hit, but I, I I, I was trying to hit the attack button and he goes, cha, cha, but then sometimes he goes, cha, and then it like don't, won't come out again and, and then I get hit. Do I need a key? I mean, oh, I need to fight this guy, yeah, yeah. 
Can I skip this? It's really long. No, I guess not. This is the drink water time. Get to drink a bit of water. Check Twitter. How's the world going? Ooh. How is that? How is that company not dead yet? It's Evergrande. Okay, great. My uh, weapons don't work. Gotta love that. Yeah, this game's pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. It's uh, the, it, it's it's hard to to explain how it feels because it doesn't work. Like sometimes you can get your attacks out like that, and then sometimes it just doesn't come out. The dash goes in whatever direction it wants to. Um, I was holding back then, and it just and it went forward. Like and my dagger's hitting like the table or something, so I don't get my dagger off, which just sucks. So, there's just a, a bad stuff happening everywhere. Just keep going. I just want to know if that boss is actually, um, if it's just auto kills you or if you can actually play it. Once again, attack didn't come out. I think it's like after running, you've got to wait ages for your attack to come back or something. Okay. Yeah, of course I'm going to get hit, but I can't attack down, can I, when I'm in the air? No. Oh, I was scared of that thing hitting me, and it... Then it killed me. Nah, it didn't kill me, and then I fell because I was scared of it hitting me. Okay. I hate you. You see how I did like a fast slash that time? I just don't know how or why. It just happens. Stuff just happens in this game. Yeah, it's, it's very awkward. And I think in a game like this, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. You want it to be like a Castlevania-like thing. Experience. But you can do it so much better than the original Castlevanias where the, the, the controls were kind of stiff and awkward. But, you know... Still kind of a classic. Just play Castlevania 4, it's the best one. Okay, now my character's freaking out. It's just not polished, it's just not there yet. And it's not a roguelike, so I don't know why it was in roguelike week. Um. Oh. We didn't get this glove before. What are you doing? I can't attack you. It's so annoying. It's when that when I press the button. Because the worst part about it is I can't show on camera what it's like when it the attack doesn't come out. It just doesn't come out. And then I'm like, well, you don't know if I've pressed the button or not. You're just watching me play. Right, this is... Just run in, attack once, run back out. Right, we are gonna fall. Am I gonna die immediately? No! Okay, so we can fight this boss. I was trying to fight that girl though, because she's shooting stuff at us. It's, uh, it's a bit annoying. Oh, I can hit his legs. Let's stick to that, shall we? And uh, we'll try to avoid her attacks. Not that we can really see them, because they're off screen. I would very much like to kill her. Oh, she died. Okay. He's still going to shoot green balls that I can't really see, because there's so much gold at the top of the screen that is covering up all of the attacks, which is great. Gotta love all of the UI being at the top. Covering up the attacks that go up and then fall back down so you can't see where they're coming from. Love it. If I do say so myself. And now the girl's back, I think. The one on the other side. 
dodged, but I don't think it goes through attacks, I guess. Thought it might. Shame. Shame on me. I hate it. I hate it so much. I can't see it. I can't see anything because you've got... You understand this, right? You understand this is a bad thing. There's no developer that didn't, like, say, oh, you can't see the attacks that are coming. Because the top of the screen is covering them up. Oh, my God. There's... It's a third of the screen is the life bar of the boss. It's so over-designed. And it blocks the view of the attacks that are coming in. It's awful. It's awful. That's Witchbane. It's just not quite there yet. Uh, it feels pretty bad. Um, and then there's like issues like that. UI, UX issues all over the place. I'm going to give that one a two. It's just so stiff and awkward. Doesn't always work. And it's annoying because it, it's close to being like a very cool retro experience. But it just it, it misses... On, on a bunch of different levels. That's a shame. That's which bit. Hopefully, you know, good luck to them and hopefully they, they hammer that stuff out. But right now it's very frustrating for sure. Which bit? Let's move on.